Well, the reaction to John McCain going on Fox News and just being honest and saying this is a Republican shutdown and it's not going to work at defunding Obamacare. Republicans, as you know, talk about being a big tent party, right? When there are uh, w when there are questions during elections to the Republicans of, you know, your policies seem to mostly cater to white middle aged men. They marginalize minorities. They marginalize women. They marginalize anybody who is not heterosexual. Republicans always say this is a big tent party. We've got, you know, the corporate uh, Republicans and we've got like the Tea Party and we've got the the evangelicals. It's a big tent. And it turns out that it really isn't because immediately after John McCain just said the obvious, which is this won't work and it's our fault. This will not work at defunding Obamacare and, and it is our fault. Republicans started bashing McCain and Louis Gohmert, who's a Republican congressman from Texas, actually said John McCain supports Al Qaeda. Republicans are imploding the big tent party. It seems like there's not much room for for dissent there. Take a look at this video of Louis Gohmert. When it comes to the shutdown that's going on, I, I heard just before I came uh, some senator from Arizona, uh, <laughs> a guy that liked Gaddafi before he wanted to bomb him, a guy that liked Mubarak before he wanted him out, a guy that's been to Syria and supported uh, Al Qaeda and rebels. But he was saying today, the shutdown has been a fool's errand. This is a phenomenon, Lewis. Remember, when there are when there is a lack of, of distinguishing factors between Republicans and Democrats, we call it out. However, when there is a significant difference between Republicans and Democrats, we also point it out. And this is a phenomenon that is incredibly limited and and it exists significantly more within the Republican Party, which is the instant you step out of line. It even happened on Fox News to John McCain where he said this isn't going to work. And Martha McCallum starts laughing and saying, we'll see. I'm not sure about that. Louis Gohmert wasting no time in cutting to McCain is a terrorist. He supported Al Qaeda. What's going on here? Well, they have to keep their misinformation campaign going. And as soon as someone says uh, something realistic, something factual or something that that hurts their case, you have to immediately try to delegitimize them. And you're right. This is happening all the time. And you know what? From my point of view, it's it's a good thing because this is just going to uh, make the party self-destruct. That's right. And we've talked about how there are these three major wings of the Republican Party that seem to be increasingly at odds with each other. Those are the kind of low tax pro business side, the Tea Party libertarian side, and then the evangelical religious side. We now have another division within within the Republican Party, right, which is those who are willing to be even remotely honest and those who have to continue this incredibly militant charade about how they are being constantly wrong, then Louis Gohmert is on that side. They, he believes that the mere existence of Obamacare is a direct attack on freedom loving sovereign citizens who are, you know, well equipped with a variety of different weapons, I guess, Louis, that 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 group feels that Obamacare is a direct attack on them, even if the, most of them would actually stand to benefit from it. John McCain, simply by being honest, is bringing the wrath of that wing of the Republican Party upon himself. Definitely. But I hope some people will will join John McCain. Uh, some other voices in the party will join him and say that, look, this just isn't really realistic and, and we're not helping anybody.